Hello, this is James Smith at GANanalysis.net. If you like these videos, uh, shoot us a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, it helps us a lot. Now, getting, I want to get back to the square of the range by price. We're looking at Lumen, Lumen Technologies. The ticker is L-U-M-N. I just covered this a few days ago, and... Um, I got um, a snarky remark. Uh, somebody believed that I was just, you know, editing it to make it look good because they said, oh, you, you just created this chart after the fact. Well, that's not what I did, and I want to show you what I did, but let's go back in case you didn't see that prior video from a, a few days ago. Let me just review what I, I, I said at that time. We took this swing and this low, we projected this square, and we used a scale of 0 0.0325. That's the price unit. So the one by one, this red lines, all the red lines, they ascend or decline at a rate of 0 0.0325 points per day. And then that created this square. That's what the scale that creates the square. And then you project the same square forward, you got a low, you project it forward, you got a high, you project it forward, you got a low, the fourth square in time. The fifth square in time, uh, you can argue that, hey, it started a little early, but, you know, it worked pretty well. I mean, you know, okay, so maybe it's off by a few days, but the completion of the square in time gave you the start of a huge move. And if I had been paying more attention, I would have, you know, seen this. I only saw it after it started to move up because a client drew it, drew it to my attention. And I said, okay, I'll do, I'll, I'll take a look at it. Um, but the reality is what got my attention, I haven't looked at this for, for some years. I did this report back in 2021. And this is the chart the, in my workbook. This is the chart I created. What surprised me when I look back at it after having not looked at it for some years is that, hey, two squares down. If you take the original square and you just put it below that square, it projected the low, which I thought was pretty cool. All right, so it's off by a few pennies, but it's, it's really pretty darn good. It's, you know, and you got a double bottom here. So that looked really good. Now, people uh, are skeptical. They think, well, you know, this is something you created after the fact. That's not really what happened. Uh, to prove that, let me just show you, um, let me just show you the chart. Um, this is the report I sent out on Friday, April 30th, 2021. Um, you know, you can see that verbiage here. And more importantly, if we click on this link here, this is the charts that I created back in April of 2021. Now, at the time, to be honest, when I created this, I thought it had great support at 1255 because, hey, you know, uh, it bounced off of that in sync with a 90-day cycle. I thought it was going to go up. All right, so maybe I'm proven wrong about that. And it, you know, over the course of the next few years, it went down dramatically. Um, but you know, that's how GAN works. You have critical support. If you take it out, you get out of the stock. You don't, you don't stay with it. The 50% retracement is always the most important retracement. That's the one you want to pay attention to. So if you don't get the move you're looking for and it takes this out, okay, don't, you know, you're not married to the stock, you get out. Um, but here's the interesting thing. If you, if you take the square of nine and project 360 degrees below, that gave you a temporary low, then you rallied back to 180 degree line, I gave you a temporary high. Then you went down here, um, and then you went up. It, it's vibrating to the square of nine, that's what I'm saying. Now note here, 0.5745, that was, in fact, it's almost off the chart here, but that was pretty close to where it actually bottomed, which I, you know, some years later in 2024. So I thought that was pretty cool. Now, if we, here's the chart in question that I've 
um, I took it straight from my workbook. I didn't change it. I didn't edit it. I just reproduced it going forward and going down. But this is the chart I used. Um, we took the swing high here from February 12th, 2020, and we took the swing low of March 23rd, 2020. We produced this initial square, and I noticed when I did this back in 2021, hey, this caught a high, this caught a high, this caught a low, and this was a low. So this is that same chart that if you look at it, this is the chart, this is it. The only difference is now we've just replicated the square going forward in time to show you that there is, um, it's not a random walk. My point here is not to prove that I knew everything about this stock, because obviously I got it wrong. You did get a rally, but over time it proved out to be a losing stock, you know. But what's interesting from a GAM perspective is that, hey, if you take that initial swing and you just put another box below it, the square below it, that produced the low. And the fifth square, some people argue that, hey, it's no longer useful, but I think it is. Look at this. The first square was useful. It gave you this uh, trigger to get long and go higher. But if you take it all the way out here, the completion of the fifth square, August 2nd, was pretty darn close to when it really started to take off. Now we're up here somewhere, but you know, this is end of day data, so this would be Tuesday's close. Uh, got up to $5. Um, and then, you know, maybe at some point it's gonna pull back, but you know, this is a hot stock, you know, to go from less than a dollar all the way up here to $5 in the space of what? Uh, looks like July, just about a month. In one month, it went from $1 to $5, and it's still going. So that's pretty, that's the kind of stock you like. And if you knew, um, and now I'll be honest, I didn't, I didn't pay attention. This was in my workbook, and it's the only reason I looked at it over here is because somebody drew it to my attention, and I noticed immediately that, hey, it bottomed on the second square down, and that, that really gave me a, 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 an idea that, hey, this thing probably could go. It had already started moving up when I looked at it, but you know, anytime you get a time and price setup where time is, is working out, you know, every time you square out, you complete a square, you're squaring out, you know you're gonna get a change in trend. So that was important, but it's also important in terms of price that you bottom two squares down. Um, if we take that initial square of the range and we just replicate it down, that was really important. I really liked this. I thought it was a great setup. Um, ideally, it would have this square would have completed back here in July, and then you start moving up. But hey, it's it's never it's not always perfect. So. You know, it looks like it started early, but, you know, I really like the fact that it double bottomed uh, two squares down uh, in price. I really think that's pretty cool. That's the big message I wanted to get across. And if you have a stock that you really like, and maybe I'm not covering it, you become a client, you tell me, um, I want you to cover XYZ stock. I'll cover it and I throw it up on the website for all my clients to see, you know, and then, you know, we look at it from time to time and see what's happening. I keep a workbook of every, um, every stock that I cover, and then, you know, if nobody's asking for it, you know, obviously over here, I don't think it was much of interest to anyone, but, you know, look at this. Once it starts to move, you, uh, I cover it again, and we see what's happening with the stock. It, it really is, uh, to my thinking, it's magic. It's, it's like, wow. Imagine if you'd caught it back here and noticed you could have bought it here and you would have been di disappointed because it still traded sideways for a long time. But when you got that double bottom and it started to move up and you know you're completing the fifth square of the range, you knew something special was going to happen. 
So I think this is pretty exciting. Um, come to the website if you have time. Register. You get a couple of free reports. Uh, here's the website, www.ganalysis.net. If you have any questions, just send me an email, jamesmith at ganalysis.net, and I'm happy to discuss any um, anything you're interested in. But I'm really into GAN, so I'm not so much into the fundamentals. You know, I know Corning had something to do with this big move here, but I don't really care. I'm just looking at the chart from a GAN perspective. And if you think that's interesting for you, you, you have a stock, maybe you know the fundamentals, but you want to know what, the, uh, what it looks like on the GAN charts, that's why you become a client. So you go to the website, you hit the shop button, you try it out for three months, and, and see, what you th see what you think. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised.